A good morning, good afternoon, good evening, my dear brothers and sisters. Uh, welcome, kings and queens, sons and daughters in the continent and those who are in the diaspora. I would like to focus on the issue of uh, dictators or dictator in Africa. Myself, I have confused uh, about dictator or dictators in Africa. When it comes to the long-serving leader or leaders in Africa are called dictators, but in other continents are not dictators, are chosen leaders. Those who believe in Bible, uh, we had uh, prophets and chosen people, how they read uh, for, for, for too long, but those are chosen. But when it comes to us, Africa, if you serve for long time, you become a dictator. Yes, I know that those who are not governing us very well, yes, we have to accept it. But not all long-serving leaders are dictators. I want to give you one of the example. All of us, we are aware with what happened to Libya. Libya of Gaddafi and Libya without Gaddafi. The Libya that uh, was led by Gaddafi, who called dictators, all of us, we have seen it, that the people of Libya have access to electricity, good load, infrastructure there, people have been paid, even those who have no job have been paid, but those are the leadership of dictator. Let us go to the Libya without dictator, the Libya of today. People are suffering, black people are becoming slaves, black people are sold in Libya. That is the Libya without dictator. So you can just try to measure which one is better. Why this man who called dictators is doing very well and the current one who are not dictators or who are not dictators are doing bad things. You know, my dear brothers and sisters, we mix two things. We think that all politicians are leaders. And sometimes we have been forced to elect politicians than electing leaders. That is the big problem that we have. A leader or leaders are those who think about the coming generation. And a politician is the one who think about the next election. So there is a difference between a leader and politician. I want to ask you, can you take uh, the ownership of Patrice Emi Lumumba of Congo who said I'm ready to die for my country? I'm ready for you to do anything on me, but I'm sure my people through my, my reading will know or will like the history and will have dignity. How many African leaders or Africans of today can we sacrifice ourselves for the betterment of the future of our countries, of our continent, of our people? That is the difference. That's why I'm talking about the politicians and leaders. Many of us, we are politicians. We are not leaders. Leaders is the one who can lead even he is not in power. We see, for instance, the young uh, politician, our brother, uh, Julius Malema. Julius Malema is leading despite he is not uh, a president. We, we see how Julius Malema was welcomed in Ghana, how Malema was welcomed in Namibia, how Malema was welcomed in, uh, in Kenya, how Malema was welcomed in Liberia. 
Malema is welcomed in Rwanda. That is the kind of readers that we are talking about. Even though you are not in, maybe in government, but still you are reading. That is the reader that we talk about. Our readers are those who are thinking about the future. But those who are thinking about the coming election, those are politicians. And we have been told maybe to change faces of presidents or readers for every certain period, maybe for every five years. That does not matter. Wherever you serve for too long or wherever you serve for short time, what the people of Africa needs is development. People need good and quality health care. People need quality education. People need good infrastructures. That is what the people of Africa need. They don't need these changes of leadership or whatever. And the people of Africa also need people with ideas, leaders with ideas. And of course, always the leader is the one who has idea. So this tendency of being told to call our readers dictators for the interest of few politicians are destabilizing Africans. And always we have been used, my dear brothers and sisters, uh, to destabilize sometimes our continent, uh, to destabilize our countries by the few words that have been told by others. If you see people from outside calling you a leader, a dictator, understand that is a good leader. If there are some countries, if they call your leader a dictator, be happy, you have a leader. Because those who are trying to protect African interest are, seem like dictators. Those who are trying to think about the future, we call them dictators. I want to give you one example. You can say maybe those who are long-serving readers are dictators, but this comes to Africa only. We have readers in outside who are reading for decades. We have kings and queens out there who are reading for too long, but they are not called dictators. They are called chosen leaders, but when it comes to Africa, these are dictators. Uh, let us lift those. Uh, remember Magufuli served for only six years, but he was called dictator. Even in his first year in power, Magufuli called dictator. Why? Because Magufuli came with the idea of protecting African resources. Even today we celebrate Malema. We celebrate Captain Ibrahim Traore. We celebrate uh, these young leaders. When they got the chance to become presidents or leaders, they will be called dictators. Why? Because they have vision of changing Africa. If you have a vision of changing this continent, we, the least, will call you dictator. Because many of us, we have been fed and taught to think that the, the one who is trying to protect uh, African resources and interests are dictators. We need someone, who, we need new face every a certain time. We have told that uh, leaders should not uh, stay maybe for too long. Yes, we know, we know a good leader must know how to leave uh, the stage. That is the reality. But when it comes that we have someone who have ideas to take us from here to somewhere, for me, I think that must be remain in power. If we don't have other people with idea, 
all if we compare of course all of us we have idea but we compare ideas if we see someone is ahead of us let us allow him to save us we need outputs we don't need these talks we don't need these uh blah blah we need things happen despite we can call you know even Kwame Nkrumah was called dictator that's why he was overthrown from power but today we celebrate Kwame Nkrumah you, you see when uh, Nkrumah was in power some people say this person is not good he made what he made what he had made to make sure that Nkrumah was overthrown not only Nkrumah Mandela today we celebrate Mandela but Mandela was a terrorist he was one of the terrorists so you can see that if you have good idea we get bad names but don't afraid but what I was trying to share is that uh, with the people of Africa do not be used to call our leaders uh, bad names yes we can call them whatever we want but those are not dictators are uh, people who have chosen and sometimes of course we have those politicians who are trying to protect their interests but a uh, few of them but many of our leaders are good leaders the problem is those who have been leading we have been told by others we have been fed uh, different information propagandas to think that these uh, leaders are doing nothing but all in all they are trying their best and this must be embraced must be protected because without doing so Africa will not be at ease so sometimes these are the source of conflict source of problems in our mother continent, Africa. Thank you.